and today we are going to update any Windows 11 computer to the latest Windows 11 version. And if you ask why do I need the latest version? Well, because this one has a lot of improved features like the new AI co Pilot, which is the artificial intelligence engine, which will work like ChatGPT integrated inside Windows, and it will do a lot more. We can create images, we can open apps, we can ask any kind of question, we can do similar to what we do with ChatGPT and similar apps. It also has the new File Explorer functionality, improved Windows backup, the taskbar is a bit different, the volume mixer is a lot better, it has native support for 7-zip and RAR, and it also has native support for RGB Lightning. The Paint had a huge update. Now we can work with layers on inside Paint, which is great. There are also improvements on the widgets, and there is also the Windows Dev Drive for developers. But if you still haven't updated, chances are that your machine is not compatible. Like this one right over here, it wasn't. But as you can see, I'm running Windows Copilot right there. So let's just do the update for any computer so that we can take advantage of all these great new features. Now, if you are using Windows 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, I will leave the link down below just next to the link of the tool that you will need to download. Now I'll share with you on the screen the website media creation tool. You just need to go there and download it to your computer. Now once you download it, just unzip it and you will open the folder media creation tool and execute the file as administrator. Now the Windows will say Windows protected your PC, but we just need to select run anyway. There will be available any version of Windows 10 and 11, so we can select the one that we want. In this particular case, we want the latest one, which is 23H2. Now, there are several options right over here, and I will do a, another video tomorrow or after tomorrow showing you how you can create a bootable USB drive to install on any computer. But in this particular case today, we just want to upgrade. I want to leave my computer as is with all the documents, all the files, all the software that I have. I just want to upgrade update and that is what we are going to do update only so let's select the option auto upgrade and then once we select it will start to do its own magic it will start by downloading windows 11 latest version which was the one that we selected and it will take quite a few minutes then it will finish the task and it will get back to the console then once again it will start with the updates and it will open two or three times the configuration window of windows 11 in this particular case i'm not really sure why but it was showing in portuguese which is my main language and although i've got my computer set to english it did show in portuguese so sorry about that and then it will start to install with that big blue screen also in portuguese once again sorry about that and this part is the one that takes longer so i would suggest right over here that instead of looking at the screen just grab yourself a coffee a tea a piece of fruit go for a walk something like that you can expect about 30 to 40 minutes here on this process of course depending on the machine this is not a new machine it has quite a few years so probably took a little bit longer now once it finishes this task it will restart the computer automatically and it will keep on installing the apps and we can see that on a black screen and then finally it enters the final Windows configuration where it says this might take a few minutes and for those that have installed Windows you know this screen and then finally once it finishes it will get into windows now if we go to settings and system options we can see the latest version which is windows 11 23 h2 if you have home edition you will keep home edition if you have pro edition you will keep pro edition so there will be no changes in the version of windows that you have it's just an update and at this moment even if your hardware is not supported you will be able to enjoy everything including windows ai 
Copilot, which is a awesome tool. If there is any of these tools that you would like to see here on the channel, like AI Copilot or the Paint, then leave a comment down below and let me know what would you like to get a bit deeper. And I will try my best with the experience that I had so far with it to share to that side of the screen. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.